The, the, the conference, I think, is really um, best described actually by the title, which, you know, this is what the titles are good for. But it's, it's called A Human Flourishing in a Technological Age, a Christian Vision. So it's really attending to the way that technology in the last kind of 50 to 60 years, but increasingly in the last 10 or 20 years, are really starting to kind of change the shape of social interactions, um, uh, changes to uh, the human being, to um, us biologically, you know, if it's down to kind of gene editing, things of, of that nature, um, social media. Um, it, and I think it's trying to address this kind of issue of, um, we, we feel that a lot's happening very, very quickly. And a lot of it we feel like, how much of this do we actually have control over? And so often I find in these kinds of circles, we tend to kind of like really, like the, 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 the next questions that are kind of just in front of us, like, is, is this safe? You know, does, who has access to this? You know, who's gonna do it? But we don't kind of ask the larger questions. You know, that might be 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe even 100 years off, like, where are we going as, as a community, as a species? You know, what does it mean to flourish as a human being? And uh, we have a number of really wonderful scholars that are here um, in a broad range of disciplines, whether this is, we have people that do things in kind of education studies and technology. We have an evolutionary biologist, we have a psychiatrist, we have philosophers, and we have um, theologians such as myself, since we think that uh, the Christian vision, at least in terms of its kind of impact, even on uh, the kind of great humanistic intellectual history actually has a lot of resources to really reflect upon, you know, what is the human being, where are we going, what, what ought we safeguard and what shouldn't we safeguard.